What's really good, YouTube? It is my week 24 update. Yeah. If you haven't checked out my last video or my last vlog video, uh, check it out right here. It's me pretty much shaving off my minoxidil beard. My plan for the summer is just to keep it trimmed down probably till August. Uh, then August again, I'll go ahead and uh, regrow it, regrow it back. I just want to give a huge shout out to all my new uh, subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing, and to the OG subscribers that's been there since uh, what, my day one. So my day ones, shout out to y'all. I think it's because of this YouTube channel. Uh, I've been really staying consistent with this minoxidil journey. So again, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. All right, so on to the update. Pretty much, I got some pictures to compare. It's uh, when I when I did that vid when I did my trim down video. I trimmed it down to I think it's a five millimeter millimeter. I don't know what it is. Uh, a five mm, and uh, I pretty much found some pictures that are pretty close to it. It's day 10 of my minoxidil journey so here it goes this would be my right side on my right side you could on my day 10 you could see that open spot by my cheek area on my day 168 it looks like it filled in pretty well on there i i do have some terminal hairs that i could that i noticed and it's that whole circle area around right by my jawline it's there's some uh, terminal hairs there now too. And uh, yeah, it's looking a lot more thicker. My sideburns are actually, it actually grew in by my ear area, I guess. Here's my left side. This is supposed to be my weaker side. Starting out on the journey, this was my weaker side. Now, if you look at my 168 days, it filled in well on the bottom part of my jawline where there was a patch. It's still not as full how I want it to be. It's coming in really good. I didn't really notice that. Here is my front view. I thought starting out this journey that my mustache game was pretty good, but from the look of it, at day 10, I it was pretty weak. And and now at day 168, my mustache looks pretty full, looks pretty thick. So yeah, those are the pictures that I thought would be the best to compare my my facial hair to from from my home in Hoxville journey so far before I trimmed it all down and shaved it all down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm not taking any pictures of my face. It's all video of me looking left and right. So. I'm just freeze framing it on my computer and then just screenshotting it all. So yeah, seems to be working out pretty well with me. If you guys want to see a different type of comparison, just let me know. I could try to switch it up. One thing I noticed too, when I trimmed it all down, I thought I was moisturizing my face pretty well, but man, when I shaved it all off, my skin was super scaly and super dry underneath my uh, underneath my beard. Up keeping a beard, uh, I thought I was ready for it, but I guess I wasn't doing it right. So now I just got to do a little bit more research on how to keep a beard because also I am I have these pimple-like things on my neck. It's pretty much it looks like pimples. They're turning into whiteheads now, but they're bumps and they're really irritating. So not sure what those were but so for the three months of the summer i am gonna just keep it down and with that for three months i got three months supply of of minoxidil it's not the kirkland brand this is the equate brand equate the walmart brand so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try this bad boy out probably show you guys on the next video how i apply it after i trim down my beard i I pretty much did not apply uh, minoxidil 24 hours. I was just trying to let this on my neck breathe out for a bit. So yeah, next video, I'll probably do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. Show you guys how I, how to apply this, I guess. So pretty much it's straightforward. I, I've been watching some YouTube videos cause I wanted to go to foam minoxidil. I hear that it, um, you know, it dries quicker, you, you don't get as much skin irritation from it, and that's what I, 
that was the number one side effect that I was getting is just just dry 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 skin so hopefully this brand works out pretty well gotta shake this bad boy up first there's these two arrows I'm not sure if it's focused but there's these two arrows right here go ahead and pop that thing off shit. pop it off and then you're supposed to fill this cap halfway full and then just apply it with your fingers so I got my iPad set up I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it I think I put a little bit more than a half but yeah so take out my ring one thing that I did not show you guys when I um, apply the liquid minoxidil here's a little hack chapstick on your lips I don't know about you guys when I applied the liquid minoxidil on my mustache area and right here I get I tend to get like sometimes I get knocked it on my lips and then if you lick your lips you you get the taste of it so chapsticks on the lip works pretty good for me so let's do it so used to the liquid form I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on my patches still Crazy, like melts off I actually like this and after applying no minoxidil after a full day, I actually feel the burn again on minoxidil when applying. Before I didn't even feel the burn. Or maybe it's because my beard is trimmed down that it's actually in contact with my skin. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and try to finish all this off I don't want to wait I don't want any of it to go to waste so if there's an easier way on applying foam minoxidil oh damn it I got it on the tip of my nose I have a hairy nose man yeah if there's an easier way of applying foam minoxidil let me know in the comments down below So there's the whole half cap cap full. So yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hands, wash this cap out, wash my nose because I got some on my nose. Be right back. All right, so yeah, this is this is the Equate brand, Equate, Walmart. All right, that's where I got it. I think it ran about 40 bucks for a three month supply. Um, but I hear also that. Foam minoxidil is a little bit more is more pricier than the actual topical liquid form itself. All right. With all that being said, here goes my week 24 timeline before I shave my my beard off. face feels like it's already almost dried with the uh, foam and oxidal so I'm liking it already so I'm gonna keep using the whole three months and after that just switch back onto the liquid form before my whole year of minoxidil is done for the giveaway I'm gonna go ahead and try to record my screen I think it is recording now so all right so I'm gonna go and type open up a new tab and let's do a random comment picker for YouTube. And that's where I went over here. And then I think I said it was the week 20 and 21 video that I'm gonna go ahead and choose. So here is the URL here paste that get the 
YouTube comments going, I guess. There's only 20 comments, so whoever wins, you know, congratulations. And let's start the raffle. And it, it should be picking right here. And the winner is Trav M. Congratulations, Trav M. Put he's on his eighth week, eighth week, and he's pretty happy with his progress. Definitely more Velis hairs coming through. Uh, more Velis hairs coming through than he expected. Great video. Thanks a lot, Trav M, for subscribing. I hope you subscribe, but yeah. Um, if you do want the mustache wax, just let me know. I'll finally put my Instagram link down in the description. Just DM me on there and then I'll send me a screenshot of your, I guess, of your YouTube, of your, you signed into your YouTube. Yeah, just DM me on uh, Instagram and then I'll, we'll figure it out. So, yeah, congratulations again to Trav M. Alright, so that's all I got for, for today. Um... Be on the lookout. Oh, I was about to touch my face. Feels dry already, so totally forgot I put Minox. So, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my last vlog, I'll put the link in the description below. Click this thing right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, guys. Thanks.